Hey, it's Dr. Vane here. I am um, feeling a little bit better today and wanted to talk a little bit because some people have reached out to me about their issues and I wanted to talk about mine with mercury toxicity. Um, for me, this started about six years ago. I, um, I've always been like a natural based person, but I was having fatigue and some other issues eye swelling um, and gut issues and wanted to get some blood work and just thought I'd throw that test in there. Um, almost, actually, I didn't think I was mercury toxic at all. I thought that it would just be a great practice just for me to go through the whole process of the blood work um, so I could share it with my patients. And ironically, I found out that I was hugely off the charts with mercury. And having never had a mercury filling, um, I was really surprised that uh, I was so high with mercury and it's just from being around it with my field of work. Um, especially since I've been practicing almost 20 years, I used to handle a lot of mercury with latex gloves and it really penetrates that. And then also drilling it out all day long, I was just constantly breathing it in and I can't get rid of it. So I went through at least a six month detox, um, did a ton of blood work and found out I had leaky gut and that was triggering my adrenal fatigue and my Hashimoto's. Now, thankfully, when I get tired, my crashes aren't as bad as some people's because I'm a really good compensator, but man, I was just so tired and everything caused issues with my gut. So it just took a bit of getting really good habits and really understanding through blood work what my inflammatory foods are. Um, I think I mentioned before, mine are like gluten, dairy, eggs, um, soy. There's a bunch of other random things mixed in. Um, and everyone has their own. A lot of them are very common though, throughout all autoimmune diseases. So avoiding a lot of those foods really helped me get my gut health back. Um, I did a lot of gut building, um, different little homeopathics and detoxes to get my system back in order. And it's a huge difference when your system is functioning well. You really don't realize how bad sometimes we let our own health get because it becomes our own normal. It's normal to be a little bloated. It's normal to have GI issues or it's normal to be super tired. There's so many layers to this that it could be airway issues. It could be, it's not just eating. Um, so I really encourage everyone to if they're having issues that they can't really explain to start diving deeper. I think that we all owe it to ourselves to be living our best lives. And um, it's certainly not without work. So I'm here for you. And if you ever have questions, feel free to reach out to me.